Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm going to be repotting and changing the planting angle, gotta be careful because all the soil runs out, of this tiger bark ficus. This is, yes, this is my one and only ficus. I um, don't have a lot of room in the house for tropicals, so I really want to limit what I have to bring in in the winter time. Uh, this is fine. I'm going to be repotting this into the same pot, but I'm probably going to have to wire it in because it's uh, it's a pretty severe change in, in uh, planting angle that I'm proposing. All right, let's get started. Once again, using this paper thin palette knife. I'm going to go all the way around the outside. This is a tree that I bought at Costco. I saw it. It looked okay. It certainly was healthy. I repotted it into this pot. I did a video when I did it. So, once again, I should form a playlist, should I not? Which I have not done yet. Mainly because I don't know how to do it, and I'm going to have to figure that out before I can actually do the playlist. So that's my, uh, that's my lapse in talent. That's it. That's the reason. All right, this should lift right out, I hope. It's not currently wired in. Right. This is caught on the uh, screening, I'm sure. So I'm gonna loosen that. Yeah. It's not pot bound, but it is it does have a significant amount of roots at the bottom. So let me comb this out. I think this was one of those mixes that I did not screen first. So it's got a lot of fines in it. After I did this, and I had mixed up a lot of soil, I went back and I screened out the fines. All right, this has a lot of nice roots. I should be able to manipulate pretty easily. A lot of young roots. And today started out as a very rainy day. Then it got very sunny and I was getting really lazy sitting around the house playing with my dog. And I said, hey, I'm going to go out and do this. And one of the things that happens when you start to do this is that you find you have to finish. And one of the things about doing videos is that you feel you want to finish. So, still got a little more time today. It's only a little afternoon. So I have a lot of time today. Yeah, so this is the same mix that I've been using but it's got a lot of fines. And I'm gonna sit this in water, clean the pot, and get this ready to replant at a different angle. All right, I've prepared the pot with two screens and with some tie down wire because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need it. 
And let's get some soil in the bottom of this pot. even enough to squash down and move around. And I'm going to utilize this entire root mass. I know so little about ficus. I'll catch it on the next repot. I'll only prune what's absolutely necessary and design worthy. So I want to change the orientation in the pot to be something like that, which gives me, I don't know, any options at all of this top root. I think I'm going to take some opportunity there. All right, let's see if I can place this. I'm spreading the roots out and I've got to prune those root ends. Just a minor amount of pruning. And I think I have really no choice but to go under here. Pardon if all you're seeing is the back of my hand. And over here. Stuff to Finally get this seated on and sort of in place. All right, so right away, I'm going to prune away this side root. And the upper ones, 
Unfortunately, they're pretty meaty, but gotta do it. Uh, sometimes it hurts, like right now. For the future of the tree. It's for the future of the tree. Can't say those words enough. Okay, so this is not super sturdy. Well, let me secure it. I'm going to add that stone to the planting. It's about to pick a front. I think that's my front. This comes forward. And then it heads away. Now I've got to prune with this in mind. Okay, with this as my front, no single change I could make would be more effective than the removal of this branch. It will expose the entire trunk and it's just poking straight out this way. All right, it is gone. Now this is a credible front to this tree. What happens? What happens? I like this branch. It doesn't ramify really well yet. Let's see. Comes way up and divides into two way up here. So Let's see if we can get some further divisions on this. If not, I'm not sure I keep this branch long term. So I'm gonna take it back. To there. And take this one back. To here to differentiate now. This next branch up, I like it. It goes, it goes in this direction. It's the opposite sweep serendipitously. So what ruins it? All right, so I think I should remove this lower branch and I will. I like this one that comes out, but it's too long. So I'm looking for an outward facing bud to grow it kind of in this direction. And to get that, I've got to go way back, which is okay, I think. Leaving some for dieback.
and the branches above it I want slightly shorter and fanning outward but I am going to remove this branch going up into the canopy. I like this branch down here, but I like the one that sweeps to the back. This one that sweeps to the front, I can do without. You know, you're allowed to change your mind in bonsai. I am going to take this entire branch that I just trimmed back, I'm going to take it off. I'm also going to take this branch right off. This branch. Now this one coming forward is good. It's got good placement, but I'm gonna take it down to these two leaves and hopefully I'll get bifurcation right there. This branch makes a better apex, I think. So I'm just gonna cut that one a little higher than I finally cut this one. Got a leaf coming out here that I don't need or want. There's a new leader to the apex, which I don't think I want right now. This is coming way out here, but it's just one thing. So I'm gonna cut it way back to here. just to give some line to this tree. And these two branches I would like to subdivide. So I'm just gonna take the tip off of both of them. And that is my one and only ficus, my tiger bark ficus, my Costco purchase, repotted into some credible shape. Not looking out over the landscape. And I'll probably have to put another rock on this. Keep it in the greenhouse, keep it watered, I'm gonna water it right now, actually. It really needs it. All right. From Steve's backyard, thank you for keeping me company.